Hello people who are watching this video, ow. And today I am doing a video about my tongue venoms. Yeah. Yeah. These are my venoms. Yep. Um, I've changed the, I don't know what they're called, bars. I've changed the bars and the light. A rainbow. I don't know if you can see, but when you do this, wait. That it looks purple, and when you do this, it looks blue. It's so cool. Yeah, but a light kind of oil slick pattern. That's what I would call it anyway. So, in the beginning, I watched like loads of YouTube videos on it because that's what you do when you want a new person. You research it to check that you actually want it and everything. Basically, I saw loads of people in my school. Not loads of people. Like. Two people in my school were getting got like the tongue on, so I was like, "Oh, that looks so nice." Um, then I saw my cousin in real life who has it, and I thought, "Oh my god, it actually looks really cool." And I love the way you can't really see it until you like it. You know what I mean? But then I was like, "Do I really want something that everybody else has got because I'm extra?" <laughs> also, I think I've got a thing for super true though, because every single person I've had, I've got two, but I don't know. Um. So then I, st I was watching Bad Girls Club, and I don't know if anybody watches it, but Z, she had it, and I was like, oh my god, has she got two tongue piercings? And obviously I'd never even seen it before. So I saw it on her, and I thought, put two two together, might as well. Then I watched loads of YouTube videos of it, and they all said um, that it would really, that it was the worst pain that they've ever felt in their life. It really hurt. Their ears were hurting from it. It felt that bad. And like all this stuff, and just say that it really, really hurt. So I was scared. <laughs> I still was gonna get it done, but I was so scared. And then, even this one girl said that, and everybody says you can't eat, and the next day your tongue is really swollen, you can't do anything really, and it's so painful. Mm -hmm. Then I had to research, I had to find a piercing shop that did it, and I had to pay, I went to get. I'm gonna go on with but I went to get those pierced um, like, like three days before. So I asked at my piercer, which if you're in Manchester is Alflex. Great. Um, I asked, sorry, I'm sick as well. So, yeah. But I asked at my piercer, do you do the two toe ones? And everybody was like, no. I went to like three different piercing shops and then obviously you just go to Google. So I Googled it. And I found this place called Holier Than Thou, something, I don't know, but basically that's like the only place that I could find in Manchester that did it, so obviously I had to go there. It cost me £60. Like, if you go to get your tongue done, some places do it for £15, some places do it for 25 like 25 is the dearest I've ever seen for a normal tongue piercing, so I had to pay even more than that. God damn, like... And you know, like usually you go to piercing shop and you, you pay for the um, the piercing, like you get your ears done, it's fifteen pound. But then you don't have to worry about paying for the jewelry, like it's included in the cost. It just isn't included in this cost. I can't remember how much it was without the jewelry, but it was sixty pound with the jewelry. So if I went in, it was like, can you just pay for the and I didn't ask for any jewelry, like. I don't know. So I went in. I was so scared. So scared. Like, terrified. I was like this close to having a panic attack. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was with my friend. And I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I want to do this. And obviously, I asked him to check my tongue if I could actually get it done because, you know, all the veins and shit. And, um,. He said it was fine. I was like, half of me was like hoping, please say it's not because I didn't even want to do it because I was so scared. And then I sat down and I was like proper shaking. I was like, oh my, God. my tongue was out of my mouth. I was like, <laughs> like that. And then he did it. And honestly, it was a one out of ten, like the least painful thing I've ever done in my life. It was so weird. He did it and I was like, oh, not that bad at all. It actually kind of felt nice, to be honest. Like literally biting your tongue and feels like hmm. 50 million times worse. Like, they're pretty, oh, I'll give y'all this look. They're very pretty and compare it to the least painful piercing I've ever had is my nose, which didn't hurt, but it felt like a pinch, really. 
Like it lit, it legit felt like someone was doing that with you. And then, um, that was a three out of ten for this. And then the total was like a one, literally. And then, um, after that, obviously, I went out and I don't know what happened to me, but I was just really excited. I just wanted to stop speaking. It was so weird. And then, obviously, they put really long bars in. In fact, I'll show you them. Um, these are them. I don't know if you can I think this see, is like but yeah, they're like very long, like, like they're like, I don't know, that's not, that like the size of your ear, no, not size of the ear, just forget, I even don't put them off, anyway, then, and then after a while they started to ache, like, not, not even my tongue, like, my jaw was aching, and I was like dribbling loads, and then, obviously I saw on YouTube that, Everybody was like, oh, the smell was really bad the next day, and like, I all I ate was ice cream and stuff. So I went to Aldi and bought like loads of ice cream. Let me continue. I've got, I've actually got a list. Let me get my list. Well, I had it in my hand 2.0 seconds ago. I've got it. Yeah, so I bought all that frozen fruit. I just didn't need it at all. The next day I woke up was completely fine. Then the next. Oh no, the next day I woke up, wasn't now, in any pain, go I felt a bit uncomfortable, like just literally, nothing hurts, it just feels uncomfortable, and I could eat fine, it just was taking me ages to eat, ages, and the, actually the one thing that I couldn't eat throughout like the whole two weeks that my, well my tongue, I'll get to that, the whole two weeks that my tongue was like healing, um, it, oh yeah, I, I couldn't eat like, noodles or spaghetti or anything like that like the next day i spent the whole day sat in the bathroom bleeding my tongue wouldn't stop bleeding like throughout the whole time it was so bad i know i was like i felt like i was gonna be sick from swallowing that much blood so it got to a point where i took my chair and just sat in the bathroom over the sink and just was spitting blood constantly yeah a bit gross and then the next few days i kept waking up with like blood like it was like jelly blood i'll show you the pictures but it was like jelly clots of blood around my things and like underneath and above it was disgusting i had to pick it off and no 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 it just wasn't nice and i would wake up and that's the only time that i would wake up in pain the only time i ever felt any pain was when i woke up and i had those blood things and my mouth just felt really sore and just uncomfortable and didn't want to touch it and then, I don't know whether this was this day or like the next days or something, but I had like a piece of skin on it, but it I don't know whether it was skin. To me, I just looked at it and thought it was food wrapped around, but when I pulled it, I like pulled it and my tongue would stop bleeding again, like it was coming out of my tongue, like I didn't take any pictures of it though, stupid, but yeah, that happened, but um, it was fine, I just ripped it off and then it was fine. Oh yeah, I had a lisp, which obviously you can guess though, but you know, I had a lisp the whole, for about two weeks, a week and a half or something, and I'm trying to think of what else just happened. Oh yeah, after about a week, I went to like two concerts, and the first concert, which was on, I got it done on a Sunday, and my concert was on Wednesday, but I don't know whether it was the Wednesday after or a week after Wednesday, but the week after Wednesday seems a bit far, so I'm guessing it's the Wednesday after. So, yeah, four days after. And I, like I said, I wasn't in any pain, like, at any point, so I wasn't really, like, bothered, like, I didn't think, oh my god, I'm going to be in so much pain. But, yeah. Um, but when I was there, obviously, you sing a lot. I went to see with confidence, finally. Where is it? With confidence. And I bought this t-shirt. Yep, so, <laughs> and Broadside, and I think who was the other people, I don't know, but the, they were all so cute, but obviously you, you would sing, and the, yeah, blah, 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 but like, just before Broadside came on, which is like one of my favourite bands, by the way, so obviously it was so exciting, um, my mouth felt like really dry, like it felt like it was so dry, and it felt like my tongue was going to crack open, because it was that dry. And then I was just like, obviously I didn't want to buy any water because it's expensive. <laughs> so I was just kind of stood there in my place. I felt like 
coolness coming out of my mouth and obviously I was like my tongue's bleeding. So uh, we had to run out of the crowd and go toilet. It was pouring, pouring with blood. I'm not even joking, like pouring. And I was still in the toilet for just dribbling blood for about five minutes or something. And then we went upstairs and then we got a drink because that's what I just presumed it was. Oh yeah, because if you're getting it done, the only advice I have for you is to drink like a lot of water. Just carry it around with you because honestly, if you feel, if your tongue feels swollen, just drink the water. If your tongue feels anything, water will actually just help. So, yeah. And then, um, oh yeah, so then afterwards, obviously we were in the back basically because we had to run out and get some water and thingy. And there's, I was worried that my water was going to run out because I probably I definitely couldn't afford to buy another one. I know I was just gonna like be bleeding not be able to enjoy the rest of the concert because it was only one band in that this happened and with Providence obviously was the last ones and the main ones so yeah but we got back in the place we had fun but every like two seconds two minutes like every half a song I had to like take a sip of water and I was taking the smallest sip because obviously I didn't want it to run out and then on Friday I went Kehlani which was absolutely fine there will be a video on that concert as well because that was really but yeah um that was fine my tongue was fine then the rest of the week had no problems until about two weeks in i think i got two lumps on my tongue which for me i get a lump on every single piercing like i've got one right now yeah it's but it's going i could do a video on how to get it but yeah and i was going on youtube and i couldn't find anything about lumps on tongues i found like two things or something and they just weren't helpful it was like clean your thing your tongue no i don't know they just weren't helpful to me and obviously i'm playing i think i've just got keyword skin and like i just get them on every person so Obviously I just left it, just kept cleaning it. I switched using alcohol free mouthwash to salt water because I just guessed that would be better for a keloid. And then um, after two weeks I thought it's not even going down, like I'm pretty sure it's getting, not after two weeks, after a week maybe, week and a half. So my tongue's still not healed by the way, after two weeks now, which is all right, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, so these two bumps weren't going down and they were getting worse. I'll show you a picture of them too. So obviously I thought, let me go to the piercer and ask what's going on. So I go to the piercer um, and then I walk in and um, the, not the piercer by the way, the they're all sat just in the thing because I'm guessing nobody was there, like they were just talking and then I could see the piercer. Not the one that did my tongue, but he, the one I just knew he was because uh, okay. I've seen him before. This is the most part. And then, um, this is like what I do to get my hair. so the receptionist stands up and he's like, "Yeah, you okay?" And I was like, um, "Not really. I've got these two bumps on my tongue, but I just guessed they were keloids, and I've been cleaning them with salt water." So he looked at them and he was like, um, "I can't remember what he said. What did he say? Did he say aggravated piercing bumps? Yeah, I think he said aggravated piercing bumps." just keep cleaning your mouth with mouthwash instead so, so i was like okay sweet like, see you later but oh yeah he asked me he said come back in a week if they haven't gone down but he hadn't asked me how long they'd been there for so if they'd been there for two months obviously they haven't but and he didn't seem like he recognized me at all but um if they'd been there for two months already he was going to be like come back in a week like it's already been eight weeks so I'd already had them for two weeks and then he still said come back in a week if they haven't gone down without already, it doesn't make any sense. So they didn't go down so I went back and then he said, um, then the actual piercer looked at them and said it's because the bars are too long, we'll change them now because it's irritating the piercing. But he went in the back and there wasn't any bars or anything. So the guy at the desk said, um, He'll put the bars in for free. And I was thinking like, are oh, you supposed to do that anyway? But I had my own bars anyway that I wanted to change it to. But, um, and then he was like, I'll do it for free. But I was like, you, sh you should have done it for free anyway. Like, 
um, when I when I went when I had my um, these pairs. Um, I went back to the shop to get it changed because the bars were too short. Blah blah blah. I will explain that in a different video. But I went back. He did it for free, and I got to keep the other bars. Like, oh, I just wouldn't recommend this place at all. You don't know what they're on about. Not because of this, but I'll get that one. So then he said come back in like three days or something. So I did. These lumps are still here, by the way. Not now. I mean, they hit when I went back. But they'd gone a bit down, and then when I got there, oh yeah, the receptionist, like, asked me, can I take a look at your tongue, because it was, in case it was still too swollen, which is, this is a different receptionist now, but yeah, she looks at them and she's like, oh, those two bumps are from dehydration, I had them on mine, I've got the same piercing, and I was thinking, you've told me three different things, like, three different people at your shop have told me these three different things, uh, can't speak, but you know, and then the same piercer that was there three days ago, not the same one that actually pierced my tongue, but the different piercer, yeah, that piercer, and then he, the girl tells him that, yeah, she needs to drink more water, she's got two bumps on her tongue, so he, when he looks at my tongue, he says the same thing, even though three days ago, he told me it was something else, like, what are you doing? I just, I don't, I don't recommend, I don't recommend this place wholly than that. And then he changed them, he changed them without asking me how much they were. No, actually he got them out, laid them all out on the table. I was like, do I have to pay for this? Cause I already knew that he was going to change them and then ask me to pay. It doesn't work like that. So um, he laid them all out. I was like, um, do I have to pay for this? And he was like, yeah. And then I was like, but the receptionist told me, the last one, that I didn't have to pay because blah, blah, blah. And he was like, if he said that, then yeah. But I was just thinking like, he was gonna change them, not tell me I had to pay, and then make me pay afterwards without telling me. That is ridiculous and so sneaky, like, no. So I got out of there as soon as I could before he stopped me and made me come back, but yeah. And then, I started drinking more water, but then I stopped again because it's hard to drink water. Water is hard to drink. After you get them changed, it's the weirdest feeling ever because obviously you've had these long bars in your home, in your mouth all this time. And then when you changed them, my tongue felt so weird. Like it felt just so weird because obviously you're not used to it. And my tongue must have still been swung because when he put them on, they were like, like right no space whatsoever because i was a bit annoyed because obviously you could, like play with them there was no space whatsoever but now the space uh, so my tongue just must have still been a bit swollen so my tongue took about four weeks to completely heal and then about two one and a half weeks later my piece of bumps just went down like i didn't even do anything extra like i didn't drink a lot of water so yeah so they went down and now they're completely gone and I missed out something when I was at school like obviously you're supposed to tie it in the balls but I don't know whether I did that I don't think I did that, that much but um the ball fell off and when the ball came off like the screw thing was on the ball I was so confused because I always see people screw the ball onto the thing but it was just a hassle to do it and then it fell off again the next day in school again and I asked my friend, can you put it back on? Because I couldn't put it back on for some reason. And she dropped it on the floor and I lost the ball at school. And I was just like, like pushing my tongue on the top of my roof to try and keep the piss, the ball, the bot, the bar on it. And then, but, but then, and one of the teachers found it, which is a bit ironic because obviously you're not supposed to have pierces at school. But yeah, I don't know. You can see it probably if you want. but a little bit and if you think of getting it done just go ahead oh yeah there is a bit another thing that i missed out um something that really hurt not hurt but it's like irritating is a lot of the bottom balls they'll like rub against my gum here and it like is irritating and sometimes i'll rub against my top gum and it's irritating like it feels itchy like obviously you can't itch your gum really so it's just irritating and annoying but but yeah
I love it. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. And yeah, and I will have, be having more piercing videos. But yeah, and if you've got any questions, just ask me. And I do not recommend Holier Than Thou if you're in Manchester. But then again, that's the only place that I could find that did it. So if you are going to do it, I suppose. Just don't listen to them. Just go on the internet, do research on your own or something. Because they're bloody idiots. Yeah. So, bye.